Hello and welcome to another trip report. Today I'm flying British Airways from London to San Diego. I would like to give a special thank you to all of my patrons out there who support this channel. Thank you for your continued support. For a very short period of time, British Airways actually flew a Boeing 747 into San Diego, which in itself is pretty special. I've been lucky enough to get myself a seat on the upper deck, seat 64K. A lot of people complain about British Airways business class, but being on the upper deck makes it that much more enjoyable. One of the reasons I love seat 64K is it's one of the only seats which has direct aisle access, so you don't have to step over anyone like normal. Today's flying time was going to be roughly 10 hours and 30 minutes and en route we would pass over Greenland, enter through northern Canada and then come down over Salt Lake City, Utah, across Las Vegas and then down into Southern California. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and a warm welcome on board this British Airways flight to San Diego. This is a close share flight with our One World Alliance partners, American Airlines, Finnair, Iberia and Air Lingus, which I have placed into the overhead lockers. If you are sitting in a front row seat or in an emergency exit row, the floor area must be completely clear for takeoff. Once your handbag is safely stowed, please put your strap on as long well as you are in a flight safe mode. You may use handheld devices such as mobile phones, tablets and e-readers during takeoff and landing. You may also use personal If headset. you would like further information on the programs available, please take a look at your highlight mm. entertainment guide. As the aircraft is currently being refueled, so please keep your seatbelts unfastened until the fastest seatbelt is on. For my welcome drink, I decided to go with some champagne. I then took a look at the amenity kit British Airways provides, or rather, amenity sack, uh, stocked with the usual items. Come on board this British Airways operated service to San Diego, California. My name's Alex Duncan, my great pleasure to be captain of the aircraft today. And a very big thank you to you folks for arriving here nicely on time. I'm very pleased to say that's all the doors closed. We're not expecting any delays today. We should be underway in the next few moments. And the flight time to San Diego, once we get airborne, 10 hours and 35 minutes. 10 hours and 35. Weather conditions you can expect there are forecast to be fine. Uh, partly cloudy skies, fairly light southerly winds, and temperatures are around about 14 degrees Celsius. Joining me here on the flight deck, Senior First Officer Ed Burmester and Senior First Officer Anthony Bolt. Looking after you folks in the cabin, I'm very pleased to introduce Hugo Abreu de Carvalho and I'm fairly sure Hugo will be introducing himself to you if he's not already done so. And of course Hugo and the crew will be showing the safety briefing today as we taxi out to the runway. The briefing itself usually takes about six or seven minutes, so not too long. Please watch and listen carefully. Bluebird 44 November, Bravo, Link 51 Alpha, hold to the back gate. Bluebird 44 November, contact ground, Mile 1 to 1 decimal 7. Bluebird 44 November, Mile 1 minute decimal 5, 5. Bluebird 44 November, hold straight ahead, hold November, Bravo 2 Echo. Bluebird 44 November, behind the departing company 787, line up 27 left behind. Behind the departing company 787, line up 27 left behind. Bluebird 44 November. Bluebird 44 November, 27 left, clear for takeoff, wind is 310 degrees, 9 knots. Clear for takeoff, wind is 310 degrees, 9 knots. Bluebird 44 November, 27 left, clear for takeoff, wind is 310 degrees, 9 knots. 
Speedboat 4 for November, bye. Uh, London, Speedboat 4 for November. Oh, Speedboat 4 for November, sorry, I do beg your pardon. Score kind of climb now, flight level 130. Climb now, flight level 130, Speedboat 4 for November. Speedboat 4 for November, no ATC speed restriction, fly heading 295 degrees. Heading 295 degrees, no ATC speed restrictions, speedbird 4 for November. Jet revenue, climb flight level 320, speedbird 4 for November. About 45 minutes after takeoff, the in flight service began. I decided as it was a long flight that I should probably just enjoy the champagne available to me and see how much of it I could drink. And don't worry, I'm well aware of how much everyone hates being served through the middle partition when flying in British Airways business class. Given the choice on offer, I actually prefer the rosé champagne available. starter I'd gone with the goat cheese and pickled vegetable option. For my main course I'd gone with the chicken with rice and tadka dal and it actually tasted a lot better than it looked. I also really enjoyed the dessert. It was just the right amount to make it so that you weren't completely full. And here's that awkward moment when flying in British Airways business class and you say goodbye to your seatmate and then the actual divider doesn't stay up and has a problem uh, which needs to be fixed manually by the crew. With the divider up, I do actually find the club world seat quite comfortable and spacious and it's also wide enough to actually get a good night's sleep in if you need it. Recently, British Airways have been upgrading most of the in-flight entertainment systems on their Boeing 747 aircraft. So if you are flying on a 747, you should have the updated entertainment system which provides a larger selection of movies, TV shows and music, and also a much clearer picture quality on the screen. If you compare this to the older systems that are still floating around on a couple of the 777s, uh, this thing is such an improvement. 
British Airways was one of the first airlines to introduce a flatbed in business class. So at this moment in time, the flatbeds are dated, but hopefully they have a new product that should come into service probably around 2020. Even though it's a much older style of seat, I did find the width of the bed and the length very comfortable. Club World does have a section known as the Club Kitchen, which allows you to help yourself to snacks during your flight at any time. With about one hour and 30 minutes of flight time remaining, the final light meal was served towards the end of the flight. Today's starter was a smoked salmon. And for my main light bite, I'd gone with the steak sandwich, which uh, unfortunately was incredibly dry. San Diego Airport has the reputation of being known as the busiest, most difficult single runway in the world. It's actually the busiest single runway airport in the whole of the United States and the third busiest in the whole world. To me, landing in San Diego Airport is always special. You get great views of the city, a really steep approach, and a very short runway that you need to stop on. Which is one of the reasons this was a great flight to be on when flying a 747 onto a short runway. Lindwick Tower, good evening, Speedbird 44 November Heavy, localizer 27. Speedbird 44 November Heavy, Lindbergh Tower, runway 27, Little Land, wind 210 at 10. Little Land, runway 27, Speedbird 44 November. November heavy, turn left Broadway, turn back up. Uh, left Broadway, turn ground, speed bird, 4th of November heavy.
When it is safe to leave your seats, please take care when opening overhead lockers, as items may have moved and could fall out and cause injury. Before leaving the aircraft, please make sure you have all your personal belongings with you, and remember that smoking is not allowed until you've reached a designated area. Please be aware that all passengers must claim all bags and clear to customs in San Diego. All of us at British Airways and the One World Alliance would like to welcome home our customers who live here in San Diego and wish those of you visiting an enjoyable day. If you're travelling on further, we wish you a safe onward journey. It has been our pleasure to serve you and we do look forward to welcoming you back again very soon. Thank you and a very good evening. Thank you for watching my review and look at British Airways Club World Business Class today. If you enjoyed the video, then please give it a like, subscribe, or please comment below. Thank you for watching and your continued support. Yeah, see ya. <laughs>